Hello everyone. Hope you are doing very well. Today we are going to talk about history of English literature in brief because this video is a kind of introduction to my free history of English literature video series. So in this particular video we are going to discuss about the history hidden behind this beautiful literature of English. We will talk about important times when English literature turned its direction some important ages movements and stuff like that so for now let's make english straightforward so basically english is a beautiful and diverse language and it has many divisions in its history history of english literature starts with the anglo saxon period otherwise old english period which starts approximately in 450 ad this old english age or anglo saxon age whatever you say flows till 1066 ad and in this particular period of time there were mostly poems because writing something in prose version was not so popular and most importantly the storytelling method was not yet developed properly at this point of time so so coming back to the poems Uh, the poems were uh, written in a long and narrative kind of style they were mainly of two types number 1 heroic and number 2 religious poems like beowulf the wanderer the seafarer dream of the road were written although we don't properly know who really wrote these things still they are very good evidences of socio cultural background of anglo saxon age By the way, it's pleasure to mention that Angles and Saxons were the two dominating tribes who used to live in Old Britain. They contributed to the literature of this time so much uh, that is why the uh, this time is named after them. Uh, so after the Old English literature or Anglo-Saxon period, uh, we have um, the Middle English age and it starts with the Norman conquest in 1066 AD. This year is important. This year is very important regarding to your academic point of view. So never forget that Norman conquest occurred in 1066. I repeat, Norman conquest occurred in 1066. And with this event, we have the Middle English period starting, which ends in approximately uh, 1558. This Middle English period, as you can see, is a very long time. So in this span of time, couple of important things happened like battle of hastings was fought between the army led by the duke of normandy and anglo-saxon king harold godwinson which was the beginning of the norman conquest after that anglo-french was declared as the official language whereas the old english remained the language of ordinary people then education was spread across Oxford University was established in 1096 and Cambridge University in the year 1209 but politically the time was not very stable because of 100 years war black death peasants revolt and things like that but uh, instead of political and socio economic unstableness such great literary works were crafted Geoffrey Chaucer Geoffrey Chaucer was a most influential and celebrated poet of this time. His prolific works were The Canterbury Tales which was written in 1380 uh, and The Book of the Duchess, Blanche of Lancaster, etc. William Caxton, uh, Roger Bacon and few others wrote in this Middle English period time. And after the death of Chaucer, the age of revival started in 14000. this time period the age of revival uh, is also belong to the middle english period but it separated after the death of chaucer till the end of the middle english period so after the death of chaucer uh, the age of revival started in 14000 and ends in 1558 this time was the age of revival because there was a transition from middle age to the modern age There was a revival resulting the discovery and imitation of classic art and literature printing press was invented and literally and artistic forms started growing rapidly In this time Robert Henderson Thomas Wilson Thomas Waite 
John Fisher was popular as writers. On the other hand, War of Roses was another important event. So in my upcoming videos, I'll be discussing each time period in details in my free History of English Literature video series. Uh, so here I'm just trying to give you people a little bit concept about the whole history which is very very uh, difficult uh, discussing in brief uh, but let me have a try and let's jump straight to the Elizabethan age. Elizabeth was outstanding as a queen. She was a protestant and she restored peace and harmony in her land. Elizabethan era basically starts in 1558 and ends with the death of Queen Elizabeth in 1603. During this time, England and English literature started growing prolifically. It was probably the most splendid age in the history of English language. Great writers as Sir Philip Sidney, Edmund Spencer, Marlowe, I mean Christopher Marlowe and William Shakespeare wrote in this age. Elizabethan age actually witnessed great sonnets, dramatic blank verse, dramas, literary criticisms, variety of proses. Elizabethan age was definitely the richest time period of English language. But after the death of Queen Elizabeth and until Charles II sitting on the throne, you know, there was a kind of political, social, uh, economical mess in England. There was a complete maze. All the rulers came, they were not at all near to the excellence of Queen Elizabeth. Still, we get some excellent writers such as Ben Johnson, John Webster, Andrew Marvel, George Herbert, John Donne and so on. After Charles II become the King of Britain, then the restoration period starts in 1660. This is restoration period because there was a restoration of monarchy and return of the Charles II on the throne of England. The banded theatres were opened again. John Dryden, William Congreve, Samuel Butler were the most popular writers of this age. Then from 17,000 onward, during the whole 18th century, was a renovation for English society, culture, art, literature, economy and education. This is also called the age of reason, neoclassical age and also enlightenment age. This time was about scientific, political and philosophical discourse. Many scientific inventions were made, Sir Isaac Newton, Francis Bacon, Copernicus came to the headlines, publication of the magazine and the first dictionary of English language were definitely remarkable incidents. In this period, Alexander Pope, Jonathan Swift and Daniel Defoe, Samuel Richardson uh, were become extremely popular as writers. After that, in the late 18th century, a collection of poems called Lyrical Ballads by William Wordsworth and Samuel Taylor Coleridge was first published in 1798 which is considered as the beginning of the English Romantic Age or movement. This period was more focused on the writer's personal emotions and thoughts because of the complexities generated by industrialization like overpopulation, environmental pollution, frequent diseases. There was a real tendency to hug the nature, inner beauty and imagination. Revolution, democracy, power of imagination and inspiration, psychology and mental stress were the most popular themes of the Romantic era. William Wordsworth, Samuel Taylor Coleridge, John Keats, William Blake, P. B. Saley were the writers who contributed most to the English Romantic Age. After the Romantic Age, Victorian Age starts in 1837 and ends in 1901. This is called the second golden age of English history after the reign of Queen Elizabeth. Charles Darwin wrote his famous Origin of Species in 1859. Oscar Wilde, Thomas Hardy, Charles Dickens, D.G. Rossetti, Alfred Lord Tennyson, Robert Browning were the most prominent writers. In 1901, we have the modern age of English literature. W.B. Yeats, 
जेम्स जॉयज जोसेफ कॉनराड वर्जीनिया उल्फ टी एस एलियट रोट ड्यूरिंग दिस पीरियड फर्स्ट वर्ल्ड वॉर हैपेंड इन 1914 एंड द ग्रेट डिप्रेशन केम इन 1929 व्हेन स्टॉक मार्केट क्रैश्ड लाइव्स बिकेम मिजरेबल एंड फ्रैगमेंटेड मेंटल स्ट्रेस डिप्रेशन एंजाइटी बिकेम कॉमन इन रेगुलर लाइफ साइकोलॉजिकल नॉवेल्स और स्ट्रीम ऑफ कॉन्शियसनेस नॉवेल्स लाइक मिसेस डेलवे बाय वर्जिनिया उल्फ वर स्टार्टेड बिकमिंग पॉपुलर After modern age we are entering to the post modern period of the english literature which is the which is the last division of our literary history post modern period starts in 1945 with the end of the second world war and it continues till now this is the time when writers started celebrating absurdity and disorder in literature instead of giving reasons and logics behind it england lost its power and america became the economic superpower john osborn samuel beckett harold pinter ted hughes agatha christie were the writers of this age so now i have completed the history of english literature in brief as i mentioned it before that it was not so easy to sum up the whole literary history in this short video but i tried hard for you Now I decided to make each of the division or section whatever you say as a single video. So I plan to do this for you so that you get information properly without any kind of distractions which is my only goal. If you have any question in your mind just put it into the comment section below. I will try to reach you quickly. But most importantly you people try to learn something from this video. For now tell me goodbye. We'll be meeting on another slideshow English video.